Thrusters, everyone's least favorite exercise. So we don't program them that often, but when they do, just know they're really good for you, right? Thruster is a combination of a squat and a press. It's very taxing because you have weights in your hand the entire time you're squatting, the entire time you're pressing. It works every muscle in your body. It's good for strength, good for cardio. So what Caitlin's gonna do is show you the basic dumbbell thruster and she's gonna start with weights on her shoulders. She's gonna come to a full squat depth. She's gonna squeeze her glutes really hard as she stands up and then drives her arms straight up, okay? That glute squeeze is insanely important for this because if you are just focusing on squatting, standing and then pressing, that yeah, movement is gonna be so much harder. So she's gonna squat, squeeze, and press. Go right back down, squat, squeeze, press. Mm. Yep, there's so your thruster. Good. Right, and that's literally all there is to it. A lot of core control, a lot of squeezing through the glutes, just moving up, down, up, down. If you need to rest at any point, a good rest position is actually at the top where you can take a deep breath, reset, and then squat and press again. Okay, you could rest with your weights here. It's actually a little bit more taxing on your shoulders. Don't try to rest down here. Your, <laughs> your weights are just gonna go, okay? So, and if you need, put the weights down, take a break, pick them right back up and keep going. You can modify the thruster by doing a single arm dumbbell thruster. So whatever rep scheme you're doing, just make sure you do it evenly on both sides. Get your three in. <laughs> I really don't need to do that. Same exact movement, same rules, everything. And then we also do single dumbbell thruster. So if you have a heavier weight, you wanna just hold it in front of you. There you go. So you could do squat and press with one heavier weight. Those are your thruster variations.